Here's a, just a very small list of people. Um, Paul Butterfield's blues band, Stevie Wonder, the Rolling Stones, the Pointer Sisters, Marvin Gaye, B.B. King, John Lennon, Ringo Starr, Ed James King, Curtis Roberta Flack, Leonard Skinner, Martha Reeves, Joe Cocker, Harry Nielsen, Maria Muldar, John Lee Hooker, Carly Simon, <laughs> Melissa Manchester, the Garigal, uh, McGarrigal sisters, Van Dyke Parks, Leo Sayre, uh, Country Joe McDonald, Jimmy Cliff, uh, Ace Burton Cummings of the Guess Who, Bonnie Raitt, John Mayall, Commodores. And I, yeah. that's not even the whole list. Yeah, well, you know, I, I played with, and uh, let's see, I can pick out a few of them. <laughs> I no. played with, arranged with, you know, uh, uh, wrote for, you know, I'm a, you know, I always wanted to just, my whole thing about it is I just, music, I wanted to be a musician. Yes, And yeah. back then, being a musician meant learning all about music, you know? I really started really getting into studying arranging, and I really, to, to learn how to improvise. Yeah, I, yeah. Sonny Rollins was a great improviser. Yes. And I was always saying, well, how can they do that, you know? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you start finding out, well, you know, the chord is there, and mm -hmm. it lasts for this long, so there's certain mm -hmm. things you could do there, and then yeah. over here is another thing, you know. Back then, it was, it was more that kind of a thing yeah. than just play anything. That's you right. I mean? they, so, there, there was a structure, and, yeah. and yeah. then the, it laid out the, the, the process of what you could do in improvisation. That's right, and also form, you know. Yeah. Form, there's a form to it. Yep, that's right. You had that's to right. be mathematically inclined. To that's do right. That. That's the most important, because it definitely brings all of that together in one. You gotta understand how the math works. Yes, it, yes. Know? I mean, exactly. I mean to, to tell the truth, anybody could learn how to play and be very proficient on their own without learning anything. Right. That's right. The right. problem happens when you try to play with somebody else. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you know. That's right. You know, that's that's when the problem right. comes. You know, when exactly. you have more people in the room, then there all of a sudden go. you gotta you gotta be able to tell them. You can't just say, "Look, I know, <laughs> right? This is this." You know, that's and it's also relationship yeah. oriented because you, you, that's part of the chemistry in pulling it all together so there is unity yeah because that's how you have the harmony and the unity that's and right, the, that's right. and I'm, I'm a big fan of melody you know yeah. I love melody as well I mean that's well that's where I start yeah I don't just like melody but when there's a strong melody then it really pulls me yeah, in. Well, they all yes. work together yeah. 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 Uh, sure. uh, 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 harmony mm -hmm. melody and rhythm that's mm -hmm. the three elements exactly you know mm -hmm. and the element that that's passionate that hurts that moves people and is the rhythm rhythm yeah. is the is the big Beating part of it. We all have the rhythm <laughs> yeah, to begin exactly, with. Exactly. Then if you got a good ear, you can hear the melody. Right. But if you really want to know the harmony, you got to pay a little bit of attention. <laughs> exactly. That's right. That's right. You got to pay attention, like you know, like on, on stage. You, yeah, you yeah. know, you, you have to listen to everybody else, and it can't just be about right. you. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So in the in the creative process, uh, how do you find yourself writing music? And you can all answer that. Right. Start with Rick. It uh, comes a lot of different ways. Yeah. Uh, sometimes just spontaneously. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you hear uh, you hear the melody. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you hear uh, you feel and hear the rhythm, and sometimes you 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 feel them both together. Sometimes, uh, particularly with us, uh, the beautiful thing that we had was the the, the, the brotherhood, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. the, uh, yes. the feedback. We would be in the same room, and someone would. Even like when we're going to start, when we play right. percussion, somebody would yeah. start a beat, yeah. and this yeah, other person. We, we've been doing that from we were back in the kids on yeah. back in, the, in Panama yeah, on the yeah. beach, yeah. and we just start jamming, and that that that's how that creative spark started, you know. Mm -hmm. And then there are times uh, our brother Carlos is an amazing mm -hmm. uh, songwriter and 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 and, uh, and arranger and has has penned a lot of the initially the initial. Uh, statements for a lot of the Mandrill songs <coughs> will come from Carlos. You know, he'll he'll have brilliant ideas, yeah. bring them in and share them, and then we'll develop them and uh, and come out with a, with an expression for 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 Mandrill. So that's that that's how it goes. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Did you participate in the writing too? Yes, I when I well actually like I said when I when I was in high school with the clarinet, I started you know playing uh, being first clarinet. In, in the, in yeah, the yeah, band yeah. was good, but when I went to when I went to college and I started writing by listening to the you know the, the um, vocalization yeah 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 of some of those you know bassists that were playing and you know you hear the bass lines and mm -hmm, so on and mm -hmm, so forth mm -hmm, and I would mm -hmm. hum that out and start you know putting some lyrics to that. That's how I came about trying to get writing and stuff you know. And then of course with my brother Los and. Lou, who's another, you know, creative 
monster, you know, my oldest yeah, brother yeah, that yeah, passed, yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah, they were all creative, you know, people that did great things, you know. Oh, so you, did, you did amazing stuff, yes, I mean, yes. different styles of music, I mean, just all across the board, yes. and I, I, could hear, I can hear the influences, right. as well as the original, totally original ideas, and yes. the things you, I love it when you combine things together you wouldn't ordinarily think of coming together, Very true. and you guys are masters at doing that. Right on. And it was great hearing some of the new album ah, because you heard uh, the sitar. Thank you. Oh, I love the <laughs> yes. sitar. I love it. Sitar, real funk sitar. music. We've yeah. done, had that before on uh, some of our albums. Yeah. Love the yeah. sitar. Oh, I do too. I mean, yeah. uh, George Harrison turned me on to it. And I yeah, just okay. love yeah. the sound of it, you yes. know, and I hear it in music. Yes. And that's the real yeah. deal. Right. 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 So, uh, and uh, we also can pay tribute to uh, your brother uh, Lewis yes. too. 